Good afternoon. Welcome to HTTV Live. I'm Elliot Harford. And I'm Jack Boomsma. And thank you for uh, watching. Um, so, Jack, how was the fair? Uh, I thought it was actually pretty good. I, uh, with all the rain, we got the bull bash got canceled on Thursday. It's kind of wrecked my plans right off to start. But went to Dustin Lynch, went to John Party. They were both pretty good concerts. Uh, coming off a win on Friday, that was good too. Ate a lot of fair food, went to a dance. It was, it was a pretty good weekend. How about you? Well, I had a lot of fun, you know. Rode a lot of rides. I think my favorite ride at the fair has to be the Extreme, you know, this big one. It's a lot of fun. And uh, ate a lot of fair food, saw a lot of friends, and went to 4 H dance and had a whole lot of fun uh, this weekend. So, so sounds like good fun. Good yeah. Uh, now I'm going to send it to Briar with new students and a new teacher. Hello, I'm Briar Close for the HGTV Live. I'm here with Saw Lopez. So Saw, how are you liking Hitchcock Tula so far? Good. Hmm. What are something you've learned before in Hitchcock? Tula. Yeah, we know how to school on Fridays. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's the best time. That's the best thing. What's your favorite subject? Um, go with geometry, I guess. Geometry. Hmm. It's pretty good. That's pretty hard. And back to you, Jack. Hello, I'm Briar Close for the HGTV Live. I'm here with Miss Massett. So Miss Massett, how are you doing? How are you liking Hitchcock Tula? I'm good, I love it. I actually live in Tulare and I taught in Huron for a while, so it's nice to teach in the community where I live. Hmm, what grade are you teaching then? Teach third grade. How are they doing then? Good, they're a great group. I have 10 kids, which is very different from last year. Hmm. Can you elaborate on how many kids you have teach them before, or how was it teaching them in here on then? Um, really different. I had a really big number of kids, so 10 is awesome. You can do a lot more small group work, and you really get to know your students. Hmm. What are some other hobbies you like to do outside of school? Well, we just had our first son this summer, so I like to kind of hang out with him, and then, I don't know, just kind of walk my dog and go to the farm with my husband. Hmm. Did you go to the fair last weekend? I did not. Hmm. <laughs> Well, back to you, Jack. Yeah, that was a really good interview, Briar. It was really good. Um, uh, and now I think actually Briar has some interviews in the elementary that we have to do. Hello, I'm Briar Close for the HGTV Live. I'm here with Carson Van Busket. So, Carson, how are you doing? Did you go to the fair last week? Yeah. What did you do at the fair? Ride rides a lot. Hmm, what kind of rides did you like? It was a zipper. Hmm. Do you, what, how are you doing in school then? Good. Good. What's your favorite subject? Math. Math? Hmm. That's, a, that's really cool. And now I'm with Isaac Gilbert. What grade are you in, Isaac? Kindergarten. Hmm. Did you go to the fair? Yes. What was the favorite thing you did at the fair? Ring a fire. Ring a fire. What's your favorite, uh, ex re uh, what's your favorite activity to do in recess? Um... Playing. Playing? That sounds fun. Playing tag? Yeah. That sounds fun. Hello, and now I'm with Uriah. What grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth? Um, did you go to the fair? Yes. What'd you do? I rode rides, and then I went on the zipper, and then I had really fun on the zero gravity. Hmm. What's your favorite, uh, how are you like in school? Good. What's your favorite subject? Math. Math? Are you in football? Yeah. What do you play? What position? I don't know. Don't know? Hmm. You like, do you have, what's your favorite thing to do in recess? Swing. Swing? That's pretty cool. Back to you, Jack. Holy moly, it looks like those kids are having a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, boy. I wish I was young again. I don't. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, uh, so it's supposed to be 90 degrees this weekend for our game on Friday. Yeah, it's supposed to be hot. Out of county, it's supposed to be hot. But uh, Jay, Jacob will keep you updated with that on the weather coming up now. Hi, it's the weatherman. Uh, so Friday in Hitchcock, we're going to have a high of 92, which will be a nice heater for that game, and then a low of 62, so hopefully it'll cool off a little bit. And then Saturday, we're looking at a high of 79, low of 54. 
Sunday, we're looking at a high of 77, low of 54. Monday, we're looking at a high of 81 and a low of 55. And then Tuesday, we're looking at a high of 76 and a low of 50. Wednesday, high of 73, low of 54. And Thursday, 79, low of 55. All right, for the seven-day forecast of Tulare, we're going to have, for Friday, a high of 93 and a low of 61. And then Saturday, high of 79, low of 50. Sunday, we're looking at a high of 78, low of 56. Monday is a high of 81 and a low of 58. And then Tuesday is a high of 73, low of 48. And Wednesday is a high of 79, low of 57. And Thursday is a high of 82 and a low of 55. Thank you. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Jacob. Looks like it's going to be a scorcher out this weekend. Um, yeah, won't be fun. Uh, over to Zach for sports. Wham -wham. And now I'm here with the football recap. The HG Patriots earned their turkey in tonight's matchup against SBA, the third win in a row. Another well-rounded attack. TJ Salmon led the defense with four solo tackles, six assists, and two and a half sacks. He also recovered a fumble. Landon Puffer and Jack Boomsla each had a pick six. All the Patriots were around the ball, which is a good thing. Our offensive attack was led by Jack Boomsla with one thrown touchdown and one ran in from 34 yards out. Eric Solomon had one running and one receiving touchdown each, with Kyle Hamilton and TJ Solomon running one in, in each as well. The night ended with 37 yard pass with, from TJ Solomon to Mason Bottom. We have a big game of Potter County coming up tomorrow night. Thank you for your continued support. Back to you, Jack. Hi, I'm Zach Gilbert from HTTV Live. I'm here with Coach McNeil. Coach, how did you meet goal out yesterday? Uh, yesterday we ran in uh, Springs for the Toledo and Conference. Uh, the kids ran well, first meet, because Redfield was canceled. Um, you know, we uh, had some good performances. Ella uh, Johnson placed fifth in the varsity girls, and Cambry Hookman won the junior high girls. Matthew Salmon placed seventh in the junior high boys. Um, you know, we've got a lot of dual sport athletes, so we start and start the season, and we just want to make progress. So that's that's our goal. But I thought yesterday we we did uh, had a good day. Well, that's good. Uh, what do you guys do to prepare for your meets and stuff? Um, well, the kids who are only cross country kids practice every day. And then I, it, I like to have my dual sport kids make two practices a week. Um, and then we just, um, do that, I guess, mm -hmm. have some group chats, uh, some motivation stuff, I guess. Uh, so, All that's, right. um, when is your next upcoming meet? Uh, Monday we go to Webster. And anybody who's ever been to Webster, Zach, knows that that's a great course to run on. Of course. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, Coach. Thanks. I'm Zach Gilbert with HTTV Live. I'm here with Coach Op. Coach, thoughts on the game last night? Um, well, let's talk about two games here. We got we had James Valley here last Thursday. I thought we played a nice game. Um, came, came away with a 3-1 uh, victory. And we, uh, defensively, I thought we played outstanding. Um, Caitlin Trader had a big night for us with 25 kills. And then um, last night against uh, Falkton, I thought we came out sluggish. Defensively, we weren't there like we were Thursday night. They really uh, changed up uh, their, their best hitter. I thought they did a nice job changing hits on us, going deeper, throwing some tips in. Um, defensively, we just couldn't adjust very well. And um, I think we have a little sickness going on too, just colds and whatnot that didn't help our, our cause either. But anyways, we dropped that match oh, uh, three zero. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, any thoughts on Wolsey for tomorrow night? Well, uh, obviously they were uh, they beat Warner and Northwestern, so Pulls came out. They're number one in the state, so we're gonna have our work cut out for us. Um, they got some good hitters um, in the Williams girl, the Boonsma girl. Um, they got some uh, back row. The, the their Libro, um, the UTech girl is an outstanding Libro. Um, you know, I guess going into it, we just want to go ahead and play well, give them a run for their money, see if we can knock them off, come up with a big upset, I guess. 
All right. Any other upcoming games for the next week? Um, Saturday, we go to the Clark Tournament. Um, in our pool, we drew uh, Great Plains Lutheran and Wilmont, so we'll play those at 9 and 11. And then next Tuesday, we'll travel up to Aberdeen Christian. They're going to be a good squad also. Um, you know, they, they got some big, uh, tall front line, and they got an outstanding outside here. So, again, we're going to have our work cut off for us on Tuesday. All right. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Hi, I'm Zach Gilbert from HGTV Live. I'm here interviewing Coach Salmon. Coach, how do you think the game went last week? I think the game went exactly how we planned it to go. Uh, as far as our effort and the score, um, our team played uh, very well, and it's exactly what we expected. So. All right. Any expectations for this week against Potter County? Well, we expect our team to come out hard and, and play play fast and, and tough. And I think this will be our biggest challenge yet, and, and I think we'll do just fine against them. All right. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. And that wraps up another episode of HGTV Live. I am Ron Burgundy. And I am Brian Fantana. Stay classy, Edgecock, too, Larry.